It's time to talk a little Buffalo Bills, Pat. Ordinarily, there'd be a lot going on with a mandatory minicamp and, you know, inspecting how many pass completions you get in practice, which I still don't get. But with the Bills, everything seems so set. There's not an awful lot to talk about, is there? Yeah, I mean, everybody's there. Star Latulale reported stuff on Diggs, who didn't come to some of the voluntaries, is there. I mean, everybody looks good, as good as you can look, running around in shorts. I mean, the one question I have is who's going to be your second corner uh, <laughs> defensively, right? Is Levi Wallace the guy that you think can get the job done? Uh, is there somebody that we're not talking about? Is Dane Jackson ready to step up and take that job as a you know late round pick rookie from last season who's got a lot of promise? But yeah, I mean, other than that, maybe is Harrison Phillips the D tackles knee good after a full year playing on a rebuilt knee? I mean, because if he can't go, now you got to start looking at D tackles for the end of next season because his rookie contract's coming up. But yeah, no, you're right. You have to really, really, really look hard to find something to question. And I don't know if it's fun. <laughs> or if it's making me bored, because normally I'd have a bunch of questions, but I got nothing to do right now when it comes to the Bills. You got to so, be bored. You got to be bored, Duffy. I mean, come on. All you're basically waiting for is for these guys to really get in the pads, the preseason to go. I don't even think you take the ranking seriously right now. Like, I, I think you're just ready to start the season. It's just basically let's get to week one of the NFL. Let's not get anybody hurt during camp. Let's say like let, let's see if we can pick up a few players here and there to address a need here or there. But other than that, it's just basically waiting out the next two months, isn't it? I don't even exactly. want to play the preseason. I'm sorry, Bill. I didn't mean to cut you off. No, I don't no, want to play the preseason after last season, right? Like everything went so well. Forfeit them. Forfeit the games. Tell them you're not coming. Who cares? Just show up against the Steelers and go. <laughs> yeah, the league would love that. And there's only one of them at home, so it's not like the Bills would be damaged that much. Hey, Zach Ertz's name keeps coming up. Uh, Tariq, do you? Do you see the need? Do uh, you, you want to bring in another guy? No, no, I, I don't see the need. I think Duffy addressed the needs earlier. I, I honestly believe that the, the 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 offense, the team chemistry, what you have going on for the Bills is actually fine. I, I, I really don't – I really wouldn't put anybody in there. Now, it's always good to have the number. It's always good to have somebody make a phone call. You know, obviously football is a violent sport, so any, anything could happen. Not that I wish anything on the Buffalo Bills. My goodness, I don't want to – wish anything yeah. on anybody getting hurt but you, you, you gotta obviously have that phone number ready uh going going forward but other than that i mean the the chemistry is great the ads that they made are great offensively i wouldn't touch anything just go into camp stay healthy and that's it because the truest thing about the team pad is that you can't predict anything with injuries and everything like that you can have everything in place and all hell breaks loose what are you guys doing why are you doing this what are you doing it's to get thing? it's to get that reaction Quiet, bored, nothing good's going on. Hey, what if everyone's heads fall off? We guys stop talking for God's sakes. <laughs> what do you think about Zach Ertz? You got a would you do you see the need for another tight end? I mean, look, in all in all sincerity, if I'm standing back as a you know non Bills fan, yeah, I think there is a need for tight end. I don't trust Austin Knox, and if you're a Bills fan, you shouldn't. Not that he's a fine player, but there are gonna be points where, you know, I, look. Kansas City showed it in the AFC Championship game. You need that one more player that could do it. It wasn't Tyler Croft. Uh, and Dawson Knox, like I said, has been having his problems. The Bills did clear $7 million in cap money adjusting for this season, adjusting Stephon Diggs' contract a couple weeks ago. That told me that they were about to make a move, whether it was going to be Julio Jones, which you didn't need, or Zach Ertz. Yeah. I think that there's something here, and we might be seeing something in the next couple of weeks. Drake, I know you wanted to get into those wide receiver rankings and where the Bills were. Uh... Well, there was this Cole Beasley and Stefan Diggs. I, I have to throw Emmanuel Samuels in there, too. Makes them even better. Which is why I think they're ranked a little low. They were ranked fifth overall when it comes to uh, a wide receiver combinations. Number one was Tyree Kill and uh, Travis Kelsey out of, out of Kansas City. But I, I just think we don't know much about Tennessee, although I wouldn't bet against A.J. Brown and Julio Jones. But we got to see that work together. I don't think Minnesota and I don't think Tampa Bay with the injuries with Mike Evans last year and, and Chris Goodwin, I, 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 I would actually put Stefan Diggs and you said it, Cole Beasley ahead of them with all the with Emmanuel Sanders. I just feel as if they're ranked fifth. They should be ranked, I think, second or third when it comes to uh, wide receivers in the NFL. But once again, these rankings won't mean anything because <laughs> by the year we'll have totally different five rankings and guys who are five or one. Look at where. Uh, one Mr. Josh Allen was ranked last year in the NFL, Duffy. And where would you rank him this year? Well, I don't know, because I remember a guy around this time last year saying, if you wanted to make some money, easy money yeah. was Josh Allen for MVP, and you laughed me off the show. And then, oh, I don't know, I can't remember what happened. I don't remember what happened. You guys remember what happened? Like, yeah. Oh, yeah. He didn't win he, MVP. That's what happened. <laughs> he did finish second. You're right. 
That's fine. I think it was 20 to 1. We were debating last year at this time the 20 to 1, I think, that was put on Josh Allen to win MVP. And I thought, man, that is amazing. But, you know, you called it. There was money to be made. 